Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Just over four years ago, I bought this APC back UPS 700 model. The reason for me buying it was because I'm running a Synology NAS and should the power cut, it will power down my NAS within timely fashion without having to worry about the RAID around the disk suddenly coming to a crash. Now with any UPS, they've got a battery backup inside pretty much like this 12 volt battery here and they don't last forever. Now I wanted to do a follow up video because very recently this developed a fault. It could have been a fault or it could have been a faulty battery. I didn't know because in the parachute software I'd silenced the alarms to the UPS because having it as a home device I don't want this thing blaring away in the middle of the night. So what actually happened on the power button indicator here, this was rapidly flashing. And looking at the manual, that means that there's either a fault with the battery or is the fault with the actual unit itself. Now I wasn't able to actually fully diagnose the fault because although this is connected to my NAS, it just reported that the battery was 100%. So I thought what I'll do, I'll power this off and we'll see what happens. The minute I even turn the power to this off, both my NAS just crashed off. I should have really powered the NAS down first. So that indicated that it's either a fault with the system or a fault with the battery. So I thought what I'm going to do, I'll hook it up to my PC using Parachute. When I did, the USB wouldn't even recognise it. I was beginning to think of a fault unit. But actually after turning this off and power cycling it once, I got it back up, it connected and it told me that this battery that you see here that was inside the UPS was charging. So I done a little test where I let it charge up to nearly 100%. I then put it into uh, turning the power off so it switches the internal battery. This immediately dropped to 6%. And self, I'm oh sorry, I've jumped the gun there. Self test prior to that time was working, so I worked out it's the battery. Now, UPS is, as I say, they're never going to last forever. The battery does go. Now, APC actually recommend replacing your batteries every three years, but if you look on this battery, you can see it's actually meant to have a uh, standby status of at least five years, but they never last that long. So, Thinking that the fault was the battery, that's what it was looking at, I went online and for this model, which is a BX700UI, it recommended the APC battery of an RBC110. Now looking online, that battery is about £50 and the battery that's actually in the uh, UPS as you can see, it's not an APC battery. And I was a little surprised, so hey, hang on, why have I got a battery that's not an APC battery? But apparently, looking online and seeing some other videos, these batteries, the uh, uh, CSB GP1272F2, so uh, it says it's 12 volt, 28 watt battery, are actually a brand used by APC. Now online, these batteries are £20 in the UK. I can get one for about £20, £25. And it's an alternative to an APC battery. But the problem is the company that actually sells these in the UK don't do weekend delivery and I needed a battery pronto. So I went onto Amazon and actually found there's a more popular battery called an RBC17. I'll pop it up on screen now and that seems pretty popular and the dimensions seemed identical to this battery now that battery the rbc17 was cheaper than the recommended ap well it is an apc battery but cheaper than their recommended battery for this unit so i took a punt and i bought the rbc17 not knowing if it would work in the apc back ups 700 model but it did and it's actually worked out better because the RBC17 is a 12 volt 9 amps battery which actually gives you a little bit more capacity and uh, 
battery time than this battery here. Now I've already obviously swapped batteries over, but I just wanted to mention that if you have bought a UPS or something like this, don't be afraid to change the batteries. These are advertised as a non-serviceable unit apparently, that's what I've, so I've been told, but you can actually change the battery. And I'm just going to quickly, I'm not going to take the, back, the RBC17 battery I've put in out, but I'm just going to show you what I did. So I'm just going to drop that to there. I'll move that over. Now, obviously there is a battery inside and batteries and voltage can be dangerous. I just want to put a disclaimer in. If you open your unit up, you're doing so at your own risk. Now on the back of the... Uh, UPS is this little fuse board here. Um, I say fuse board, it's a little f slotting fuse. You are meant to remove that from the unit before you work on the battery. I personally didn't take it out, but as I say, if you don't, it's at your own risk and the unit will be live. Um, the reason I didn't take it out, they're a bugger to get out. You've got to get a screwdriver didn't bother. To take the battery out you need to turn the UPS over, you just need a Phillips screwdriver and there's a Phillips head there and there and is all you have to do, undo the screws, so that's the bottom one, that's the top one and simply the unit slides off like that and opens out. And if I tip that up, there is the battery. Now the difference between the cheaper battery and this one seems to be that the live connection is shielded. Uh, you don't get that on this battery. And it's as simple as that. I'm not gonna take it out, but your thumb and finger there, the battery slots out, pop the new one in, pop the connectors back on, load it up, it might be worth connecting to a PC just to set the parachute back up, turning alarms off if you don't want them on. Putting the lid back on is just done in the reverse order. So that goes on there like that, slides up, and here's all you've got to do is put your two screws back in. Just watch you don't cross thread it as you prune them back. And that was as simple as that to upgrade the battery on the back uh, APC back UPS 700. There we go. So after connecting its parachute, disabling the alarms, connecting this back up to the mouse, and we're all back up and running. So if you have got one of these units, the reason for me making this video is to say that you don't have to buy the cheaper alternative battery. You could if you got time to wait for it. For me, on Amazon, I bought the RBC17 battery from APC, next day delivery, bang, in the unit, back up and running. Right, thank you for watching this video. This is the start of a flurry of videos over the Christmas period. I am now going to be back full time with the channel and it's good to be back and I'll see you soon in a new video to come. Thanks for watching as ever. Peace out.